The Federal Health Minister Peter Dutton says Medicare is simply unsustainable and a full and frank discussion is needed about reining in costs. Joining that discussion now is one of the architects of Medicare, Stephen Duckett. He's now with the Grattan Institute and we're very pleased he's with us in the studio this morning. Stephen Duckett, good morning. Good morning. Let's step back one, one pace. Virtually everyone involved in health provision in Australia says that the health system in this country at the moment is unsustainable. It's simply too expensive to provide all of this health cover. Do you agree with that assertion? Not at all. Australia has actually got a really good health system. I mean, no one's saying it's not good. It's more that we can't afford it. But put it this way, if you look at Australia internationally, if you think about what we're trying to achieve, life expectancy, costs, we're actually in the right quadrant. We're low on costs internationally and we're good on life expectancy. So we're doing something right. So then the, to focus more generally on, on specifically on this, then Medicare doesn't need to be overhauled either? I, did, I didn't say that. Mm -hmm. We can always improve. And if you think about it, Medicare was designed 30, 40 years ago and Medicare uh, was designed at a time where acute illness was more important, chronic illness is now more important. So we've got to think of different ways of paying doctors. We've got to think of uh, different ways of organising the system, improving the links between hospitals and primary care and so on. But that doesn't mean throwing the baby out with the bathwater. If you're advising Peter Dutton, what would you suggest? Let's look at different ways of paying doctors for a start. Well, for, if you, as I said, if you think about it, fee-for-service is about you get a fee for each service. It, yeah. it encourages one-to-one, -one, one visit, one visit, one visit. What we want to look at with chronic care is you know, payment for, for looking after someone for a whole year, for example, so that you, that you encourage them to help the person help themselves, in a sense. So it's a different way of thinking about so it. So that goes far beyond, say, a, a co-payment for each uh, individual business. You know, the co-payment is, is just a pimple on a pumpkin. It's, it doesn't raise much money. It may not raise any money if people go to a hospital emergency department yeah. instead. What you've got to do is say, what do we need to do to help people who have got a chronic illness look after it themselves? And that's not a six payment, a six dollar co-payment is an irrelevancy in that. So, so give us, according to you, the, the main things, the, the, the main issues in Medicare at the moment as it stands, where it's perhaps anachronous with, with where we are as a country in terms of our health. Well, what are the key areas that, well, that do well, need well, to be looked at? Just think about it. The, if you've got your bank card in your hand, you can go to an automatic teller machine anywhere in the world, manage your accounts yourself, get out your money yourself anywhere in the world. Your Medicare card doesn't do anything like that. The, the electronic health record is an absolute disaster. Uh, it costs millions of dollars and actually hasn't delivered what it should have delivered. We need to be actually putting the tools in the hands of people to look after themselves, to, to see, you know, to, to put in their own uh, conditions of how they feel and so on, so the doctor can look at it, the doctor can communicate with the pharmacist and so on. So there's a lot of system architecture which is tired and outdated that needs to be fixed. What about proposals, and they're still there with, with some degree of force, of raising the Medicare levy, holus bolus? Uh, well, I think that has to be on the agenda. I mean, you, you've got, there's money to be saved in the health system. You know, we've said at Grattan, you know, the billion dollars to be found in pharmaceuticals. Uh, but the, you might have to increase revenue as well. If, if the concern is that the rich aren't paying enough, well, taxation is a good way of getting the rich to pay a bit more. Diagnostics is really expensive now, and, and, and there's a hell of a lot more of it done than, say, there was when Medicare was first put together all those years ago. Is there something that needs to be done there with the cost of that, or perhaps the frequency of its use? Well, we haven't looked at that in detail, but uh, the, the government has got to deal with the pathology industry that, that, that if the volume of tests go up, the, the price per test goes down. So there, there are systems in place uh, to actually control the costs of, of, of lab tests and so on. I, I think perhaps that the, we could probably get the, t the cost of lab tests down by going to tender or something like that, but, but uh, yeah. What about more expensive diagnose, diagnoses such as MRIs and, and, uh, and mammograms and the like, things that require human intervention but also expensive machines? Absolutely, absolutely. And, and there's, there's probably way too much of, of that. I mean, for low back pain, for example, you know, people are getting MRIs when you know, it's not clear that, that this is benefiting them at, at all. So, so you've got to really be, be introducing systems which, which try and constrain the use of really high-tech medicine, which actually doesn't, uh, doesn't do much. Where do you see this ending up? We saw a, a very big and a very billowy flag raised by Peter Dutton yesterday. Uh, will uh, we see serious change in this year's budget or are we looking at Well obviously stuff? he's doing some kite flying to, uh, to prepare us for that but, you've, but the, the whole issue about healthcare is single big bang changes 
probably aren't going to work. Okay. They, they sound good. They, you know, they sound like we can fix everything with a $6 copayment. Well, we can't. It's, it's hard yards. It's, it's detailed changes. It's changing medical practice. It's changing the referral systems and so on. And that takes time. And, it, and you really need to be careful about what you're doing. Well, on that basis, then, is it a problem or is it sensible to start speaking about the Australian population in very different socio-economic mm. and socio-demographic groups when it comes to providing them with health care? Those who might earn more, those who are older, those who have chronic illnesses. Is that a sensible approach or not? Well, obviously, you've got to think about different groups. When, in, you know, if, when I go to a doctor, I pay a $30 copayment already uh, because that's what my, my GP charges. So, so there are differences for the different populations. But what's really good about Medicare is we're all in the same boat. You know? And so wealthy people are exposed to the same issues as poorer people in a sense and so we've you mean, all you mean health issues healthy well yes. yeah and, and so we've all got a vested interest in, in keeping the health system good mm. well it seems that, that, that Peter Dutton um, if you take him in his word also uh, believes in Medicare and, and wants it to remain so you don't have any concerns based on what you heard from him last night that somehow it was about to be dismantled no he had he was very careful in what he said he didn't endorse the six dollar co-payment he said look this you know they're all th and I think he's right because he, you know ministers don't want to rule things in and rule things out before a budget, so I think he's right in not endorsing it. But I hope, it do I hope he doesn't think that it's going to fix any of the problems. Do you find there's an inconsistency with what Mr. Peter Dutton says about increasing payments for the rich at the same time the government is committed to scrapping that means test on the private health insurance rebase? They, uh, they've said they'll do that when there's money available, and I think that's a never, never sort of promise. It's not going to happen. I don't think so. All right, good to talk to you this morning. Thanks so much for joining Thanks us. Thanks very much. Thank, Thank you. you.